Kyle Plush knew he didn't have much time, he was trapped in his minivan, and no one could find him. So he dialed 911 and told the dispatcher to relay a heartbreaking message to his mom, as his last seconds ticked away. At the time of his shocking final moments, Plush was an ordinary high schooler in Cincinnati, Ohio. He attended Seven Hills, a private school in the city, and was leaving the campus on Tuesday, April 10, 2018. He planned to go to an after-school tennis match. Authorities believed that the 16-year-old had gone to his vehicle, a 2004 gold-colored Honda Odyssey, to get his tennis equipment from the back of the van. And they reckoned he might have climbed into the third row of seats to reach it. Like many similar vehicles, the minivan's third row of seats could be folded down to create additional storage. But for Plush, this feature could have been deadly as it appeared that the back seat folded as he reached for what he needed. Local paper, the Cincinnati Enquirer reported that, as Plush put his weight on the third row bench, it flipped backwards. This could have happened if the seat hadn't been latched into position properly when it was converted from a folded position to a bench seat. It seems that as the seat unit moved from its upright position, it somehow managed to pin Plush upside down underneath it. The 16-year-old wasn't holding his phone, so he used voice commands to dial 911 after he got stuck. Plush's first emergency call went through just after 3 o'clock p.m. The dispatcher asked the teenager where he was. I can't hear you, I'm in desperate need of help, he replied. When pressed again for his location, he simply said, help, 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 I can't hear you. The dispatcher asked the 16-year-old a third time where he was, which resulted in an even more frantic response. If you don't send help I'm going to die soon, Plush responded. After that, the phone call ended. A deputy assigned to traffic detail at Seven Hills subsequently searched a few of the high school's parking lots before reporting back to dispatchers. I looked in a van and I didn't see anybody in it, the deputy told them, according to CNN. In the midst of the deputy's search, a 911 operator attempted to get back in touch with Plush, but the call went to the young man's voicemail. Then the team managed to ring up the emergency number once again. In his second call, the 16-year-old's voice sounded even more slight than the first, but this time he put it to better use. Plush provided a clearer, more detailed description of his location, saying, this is not a joke, this is not a joke. I'm trapped inside a gold Honda Odyssey van. His phone's microphone also picked up the sound of banging in the background as he spoke. The words Plush uttered next were chilling. I probably don't have much time left, the teen said to the 911 operator. And that's when he delivered the most heart-wrenching sentiment to the dispatcher who fielded his call. Tell my mom I love her if I die, Plush begged. However, even with the further information about the van, and that final request from Plush, officers still couldn't track him down. Plush's parents had no idea what their son had gone through. However, one of his classmates had let them know that the teenager never showed up for his tennis match. Plush's mom Jill subsequently called the police to report that he was missing. My son never came home from school, and we thought he had a tennis match, Jill said in her 911 call according to some released audio. In the meantime, Plush's father used an app to locate his son's phone. That led Plush's parents to the parking lot where the Honda Odyssey was still parked. Then around 9 o'clock p.m., six hours after the teen's initial 911 call dispatchers fielded another call related to the incident. One person who called 911 with news of the tragic parking lot discovery said, he was stuck. Looks like he was turned over in the seat, he's stuck there. He's been there for a while. The county prosecutor later corroborated this statement, saying Plush was trapped in the third row bench seat. Later, an autopsy revealed that Plush had suffered asphyxia due to chest compression. This meant that his chest and lungs couldn't expand properly, thus preventing him from breathing. In other words, he suffocated in the back of the van. The 911 dispatcher who received Plush's second call, the one in which he provided more details about his location, 
has been placed on administrative leave while authorities investigate exactly how the tragic event came to pass. It seems the call handler, Amber Smith, had failed to pass on crucial details concerning the make and color of the minivan. Meanwhile, Honda said that their 2004 Odyssey had no seat-related recalls. But it was Plush's school that released a statement that focused on what was really lost in this freak accident. The promising life of a 16-year-old student. Kyle joined the Seven Hills community in the sixth grade, it read. He was a young man of keen intelligence, good humor, and great courage, and this whole community feels this loss very deeply.